Hey, this is Stephanie Garrett reporting for Mingle Media TV's Red Copper Report. I'm here at 20th Century Fox Studios for the premiere of Firelight. Very good. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. You know, I've been a fan of yours since Boys in the Hood. Oh. I, we go way back. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Early 90s. Early 90s. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your character, DJ. He is a counselor at a um, correctional facility for women, correct? Right. That's correct. And, uh, you know, he uh, had came up with this uh, plan to... Uh, have the, these girls who are locked in this prison facility who qualify, um, and he enabled them to participate in this program that would allow them out okay. to fight natural disasters, not just fires, but you know, help in earthquake relief and floods and whatnot. And and uh, basically, a lot of the women in, in this program that were allowed this privilege went on to become a positive influence on society and do actually great things. Now, this is based on a true, yeah, true event. True, true events, and right? Your in the early are, '90s, yeah. Okay, and your character's a real. Uh, He's a real guy. Yeah, real DJ's a real guy. Did you get a chance guy. to meet him? I didn't. No, I keep telling, saying that all in the interviews. And I, yeah. More and more I talk about it, more <laughs> guilty I feel. But, but I, they were filming the film and they cast me, so I oh, went straight from uh, production to this one. And uh, Darnell Martin had, had met him a few times and, and really researched his character through conversations with him and relayed a lot of what he said to her to me. So I think that informed. And what kind of character development did, did you have to, to do to get into that role? You know what I mean? To get well, into the mindset. Well, not a lot of development. I mean, it was like, it, it, it's great when you read a, a great script. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these scenes were already mapped out. Okay. You know, and all I had to do was memorize the lines. And it, but it helped having real actresses portray these, uh, these women that were in this, this facility. Uh, when you have actresses that are talented and great dialogue, you just got to hit your mark and say the, say the words, you know. They'll move you to emotion. I mean, some of this stuff we cover was pretty emotional. And, uh, you know, that coupled with the fact that Darnell stressed to stay in the moment, you know, to, to bring truth to the moment and don't, don't, let, get, don't get caught up in anything other than being, you know, present. Yeah. And uh, and that helped uh, helped to deliver the performances. Yeah. We How did. was it shooting down in Georgia? Was that uh, interesting? Yeah, yeah, Atlanta's great. Yeah. yeah, it's great. It was a little humid, you know. <laughs> I won't lie, a few mosquitoes, but yeah. you know, I was a working actor, so I didn't complain too yeah, much. You got a job, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now I'm loving the hair. Is oh, that for? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. that for a thing? Or? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> me running around the country not wanting to shave. Oh, but I like it. It's handsome. Yeah, you look thank handsome you. tonight. Thank you very much. Thank and so you got anything coming up we can check you out in other than this? Uh, yeah, I did this film with uh, Dolph Lundgren called No One in the Chamber that should be coming up. And uh, I did a pilot for television. So we'll see if it gets picked up. Well, we like seeing you. So keep on working and keep on bringing the, yes, the, the great stuff you bring. I nice sure to meet you. Uh, you too, darling. Thank you.